Good morning, everybody. It's July 31st, a Wednesday morning, the last day of the month. I'm Brett, your thankful carnivore, with today's thankful carnivore report. I want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching across all my social media. I appreciate you folks who show up on my YouTube channel at Thankful Carnivore. And, oh man, you people on Twitter are just going crazy. I thank you all so much for following me at Stickman Bleeding. It's S-T-I-C-K-M-A-N-B-L-E-E-D-I-N. And yes, you folks over at Instagram, Instagram TV, thankful.carnivore. Facebook's Thankful Carnivore. Listen, this week already, it's just Wednesday, and I've seen nine people just since Sunday have carnivorsaries who've Announced they've lost their depression symptoms. They've lost their anxiety. They're at 30 days. They're at one year. I've seen a six month, another one year. It's just been incredible to read your testimonials and to see how much you've improved. To the dear lady Roseanne O'Driscoll, who I interviewed, and you can catch her interview. It's uploaded to the Thankful Carnivore YouTube page. We did an Instagram Live last Sunday. This is her This is her 30th day. She looks amazing. She's an ex-vegan, and just one month of carnivory has really improved her mental health, her physical well-being, and I'm so happy for her. And then we saw some folks uh, on Twitter yesterday. Uh, let me make sure I get the gentleman's name right, because I don't want to mess this up. The bacon guy is on there showing off some abs that he worked hard on. Changing his way of eating. Following the directions. Reaping the rewards. Man, it's so awesome that we are seeing this. People taking control of their lives, their health, both hands, changing what they put into their mouths, and experiencing nothing but health for their trouble. What a beautiful thing! Eating meat, drinking water, animal source foods, pure human nutrition. What can go wrong if we only consume nutrition? Think about it. These people are just like, they're doing very similar to what I did. Some of them are eating cheese, but they're still staying in the animal source kingdom. That's what's so awesome about this. There's room for you to individualize. It's not rigid. It's liberating. And we see it day after day after day of people kicking their metabolic issues to the curb forever. As long as they eat meat and drink water, stick within the animal source food box, which is a much larger box than people give credit for. Think about it. All the animals in life, all the different kinds of meat that we can eat. Mmm. And it's delicious. I have zero complaints. Today's my 380th day eating meat and drinking water. And I'm just as excited and happy about it as I was on day one. More so probably because, hey, I'm experiencing the results. Zero depression, zero anxiety, insomnia is gone, my skin gets better. It's truly been amazing. Listen, I want you to get out there and share your story, your experiences with the world. They can argue, they can shut us up, they can kick us off media platforms, but you know what? They can't unsee us, can they? They can't make us invisible when we're at the grocery store, when people see us at church or our synagogues or at our local civic group. That Our health radiates and tells a powerful story. Don't be afraid to share your experience. 
you new carnivores celebrating your carniversaries. Congratulations. Keep eating your meat. Keep drinking your water. Never, ever, ever be afraid to share your experience. And always, my friends, be thankful.